Hello students, uh, welcome to Excel Academy's YouTube channel. In this uh, video, we would be trying to analyze the least cost production point, which is very important. Like all of us know, the survival of a business purely depends on the amount of revenue it generates and the level of profit it makes in the business. Now, there are two ways in which a company can increase its profits. One is by increasing the price of the goods and services that it is selling in the market or by reducing the cost. Increasing the price in the market comes with its own risk and it is inviting a lot of uh, risks in the marketplace. But when it comes to reducing the cost, it is purely internal to an organization and there is a good scope for any company or a firm to work very seriously on their cost aspects and try to keep it on the lower side. So the job of any managerial economist in an organization would be to work out various combinations of inputs which can be available at a very low price or low cost. And there is a graph which helps us to understand this least or to identify the least cost point. We shall try to analyze it and know more about the least cost analysis. Now we have understood the importance of uh, cost in the process of production. Now let us try to analyze the least cost combination. Now before we get into the analysis, let us first understand the basic definitions of uh, the important uh, factors that we'll be using in the analysis. The first point here is uh, production cost. Now what do we understand by production cost? The definition goes like this. Cost incurred to produce good or a service. The total money that uh, the firm spends for the production of goods and service becomes the production cost. The second uh, factor that we have to know here is the isoquant. Now isoquant is the graphical representation of various combinations of K and L. We know that the production function uh, is uh, simplified into a two-factor equation which looks something like this. Q is equal to function of capital comma labor. So we consider only two factors as inputs. One is capital and other is labor. Now it can be of various combination. K and L can be in various combination. When we graphically represent this kind of a combination, the curves that we get are called the isoquants. If you remember, the curves look something like this. Now this is uh, K and here we take L and we will have this uh, convex uh, curves, they are called the isoquants. One more factor that we have to understand is the isocost curves. Now the curves which represent the production cost and here the word iso means same. So the curves will look something like this. See if this is the x-axis and the y-axis, the curves will be straight lines and they are the isocost curves. So here we have understood the three basic concepts which are necessary for us to analyze the least cost combination. First is the production cost, second is isoquant and third is the isocost curves. Now let us try to bring in all these concepts together. Now here is a graph which has uh, two axes, uh, the y-axis here and the x-axis on the other side. On the x-axis we have taken the labor, on the y-axis we have taken the capital. Now if you see there are four curves here. One is this, this curve which is convex to the origin, it is the isoquant curve for us. And there are straight lines here, one, two and three, they are the isocost curves for us. Now as we know, isoquant curve represents the, the various combinations of capital and labor. And all along this curve, the production remains constant. Let us say Q here, the output that we are obtaining here is equal to 10 for the various combinations of capital and labor. Now we have the isocost curves. There are three isocost curves and all along these curves, the cost remains constant. And like all of us know, the, when we move away from the origin, the value of these curves keeps on increasing. Say for example, the first cost curve's value is say 10 rupees, the second is 20 rupees and third is 30 rupees. And what is the output we are obtaining here? The output that we are obtaining here is 10 units. It means that if it, it, there, is a in, there is an intersection between the cost curve and the production curve at three important points, which is very important for us. It means that at this point, at this point, we are incurring uh, 30 rupees and we are getting the output of 10 units. 
at this point we are incurring say 20 rupees and we are getting an output of 10 units and at this point we are incurring again 30 rupees and we are obtaining an output of 10 units now it is commonsensical which is the combination that you would go with the answer is straightforward very simple we will go with combination e because the cost that you are incur incurring here is only rupees 20 and the output that you are obtaining is 10 units so we go with this combination b and a combination that is a units of labor and b units of capital comes to us at the least cost that is possible and we are obtaining the maximum output so this is called the least cost combination if you have any doubts please leave your doubts in the comment section and we shall get back to you with the answers thank you so much